every single TikTok comment is requesting me to do more red flag crowd work. Don't get me wrong, I, I love doing crowd work. It's, it's one of my favorite parts of the show. I get to interact with the audience, get to know them a little bit, but now it's getting to the point where everybody is coming to shows and just yelling out red flags. I'm kind of over it, to be honest. Why don't you do it one more time? Like you're in Miami, just red flags, that's it, retire it. Do a whole show improvised about red flags and then retire the bit. And never do it again. It's like a red flag special. Yeah. Ah, right, fuck it, Miami. Let's hear your red flags. If you don't know what a red flag is, it's basically a warning sign. You meet somebody, you start talking to them. It's something about their personality just kind of triggers like a warning in you. You're like, maybe this isn't the person. I should be fucking with them. So for the women in the audience, what might be some red flags for a guy? Do you say flip-flops everywhere? What, you don't fuck with the beach? Why are your dogs out at a restaurant? Your dogs out at a restaurant. Wow, hates dogs, everybody. This has been an experience you had. You went on a date with a guy and you wore flip flops to it. Yeah, there was a dude who was like a 10. He was a 10? He had all 10 toes? He was like, I'm educated, handsome, smart. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to trap this man. And then he wore flip flops. Hold on a second. You sneak up. He was a 10. He was Ivy League educated. He's a good looking guy. He has a great job. She was like, I'm about to trap this man. <laughs> And then he showed up with flip flops and she went, uh, never mind. Are you out of your fucking mind? If he's ivy educated, maybe he knows how big of a waste of money shoes are. Maybe he's like, I'm just out here all natural. Where'd you meet him? Um, we went to high school together. You went to high school together? And he had shoes then. Where did you go to school? We both went to Matter Academy. Matter Academy? What is that? Sounds like he thinks shoes don't matter. That's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. I love how he had all these great things about him, and then she saw one little toe, and she flip-flopped all the entire relationship. Isn't that fucking crazy? The irony. Toes really turned you off that much? If there's an emergency, and we have one. First of all, there's an emergency. He's not keeping the flip-flops on. She's worried that there's gonna be an active shooter, and then... They're gonna be trying to sneak out the back and he's gonna be like <laughs> Oh my god. Or maybe he's more prepared than you think. So I know a lot of Latino women in here who could use a flip-flop as a fully functioning weapon. He's actually He's actually concealed carry. I man is so prepared for anything. Oh my god. I think you give him another chance. I would love it before y'all fucked, he put on socks. Like, that would make it so much better. Are you actively like a, a socks have to be off in bed person, or are you like, you don't care? It's not a deal breaker. Maybe it's feeder cult. This actually is a great time to plug you guys on my Shark Tank idea. Because I've never said this before, and nobody fucking steal it. Cause like, I, I'm a sock guy. Like I, I don't like my bare feet being out. I don't like, I don't like flip flops. So I am on your side on this. But my thing is, it's like if, if I'm about to have sex, I don't actively be like, oh, I gotta take my socks off. I keep them on a lot of times. It's just something I do. Hey, what gonna fuck y'all anyways? Okay, relax. Everybody in here, oh, whatever. You can have your fucking hooves out if you want. But I keep mine on, and for a couple of reasons. One, my feet are cold. And two, I keep them on for traction. <laughs> Which is what brings me to my pitch to you guys. I'm looking for a $900,000 investment on, do you guys know, you guys know hospital socks? You know how they have, you know like, they're, they have like the rubber on the bottom, right? I wanted to get my own like hospital socks with that rubber grip on the bottom. So that way you put them on right before you fuck and it gives you a good, a good dig in. So you can just fucking really put in work. And we call them sheet cleats. <laughs> Y'all can keep all that sexy shit if you want to. I fuck a 4240, okay? <laughs> Nobody steal that. It's a million dollar idea. <laughs> what? This is a real thing? Keeping your socks on helps you come faster. No, it doesn't. 
That's so stupid. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. That is so fucking stupid. <laughs> hey, if that's what's holding me back. Is that a real statistic? If you're too cold, the bedroom is harder to come. I don't know, I feel like I could come fast in an igloo. Like, ain't nobody stopping me. Talents. Did you ever see that guy again? Or was that the only day you went on the list? Oh, he was just a friend of yours. How convenient. You're single now? Um, I hope you find the shoes of your dream. I like that one. It's very, it's very anti-fetish. Well, I like that. So that's that's exactly what type of red flag I'm looking for. It's something that she just like. This is something I can see being a problem for me down the line, and it just gives me the ick just enough. That's good. We're one for one. Who can who can top flip flops? What's what's the problem? Legos. Legos in his bedroom. Well, maybe don't fuck eight year olds in the first place. Maybe not. <laughs> Elaborate. Right. He was twenty three. He was twenty three. And he had a Lego village in his bedroom. He had a Lego village in his bedroom. Okay, so you don't fuck with architecture. Did you ever play with him? Ungrateful. Was it, it was, it was like a town that he had built? All right, sex aside, was it kind of impressive? It was a little bit, that's what I'm talking about, see? Judging too much. Where'd you meet him? New York City. New York City? It's a lot of buildings. Is that where you're from? Yeah. Nice. What are you doing out here? Uh, working. Working? Oh, what do you do? Uh, crypto. Crypto? <laughs> I want to roast you, but you're going to be poor in four years. And I really don't want to fuck really with that. Oh, my God. You, <laughs> you mad at this dude for building imaginary cities. You playing with imaginary money. <laughs> Fucking hypocrisy, am I right? That's insane. That didn't cross your mind? I feel like this wasn't a problem until you did your walk of shame barefoot. You were like, <laughs> Where'd you meet him at? Do you remember? Uh, house party. House party? A real house or a Lego house? <laughs> Why did it cross your mind as a red flag that he had Legos in his room? Was it just the fact that did it come across as childish? Were they sharp? Were you afraid you were going to swallow some by accident? <laughs> they were in his parents' house. They were in his parents' Oh, he still lived at home. Yeah, that's the red flag. It's not about, it's not about the Legos. <laughs> let, me, let me, hold on, what'd you say to me, bitch? Did you say comedian? Turn these lights on right now. I swear to God. <laughs> Why is the comedian a red flag? You don't like funny guys? I want to be the funniest one. You want to be the funniest one? You losing already. This is not a good stuff. I don't have a stage. What's that? I don't have a stage. You don't have a stage? I feel like you dance on one. I'd be pissed if my stripper was like, knock, knock. <laughs> no, but instead of the noise, she just goes. <laughs> Who's there? C-section. <laughs> be nice to me. What do you actually do? I'm a makeup artist. You're a makeup artist? It's not very funny. <laughs> what made you want to do that? Were you good at Drawing? I've always been autistic. You've always been autistic? <laughs> autistic? Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I heard something totally different. Okay, okay. You're so funny? We'll see. You must be a good makeup artist because you're making me look good right now. Right, that was less of a red flag, more of a shot. Married men asking for escorts, paying for escorts. Did you sound hurt recently? What <laughs> Somebody just checked their bank statement like a week ago. Also, how are you louder?
with me. All right, let's dive into this divorce. What happened? I found out three days ago my husband of six years, we have two beautiful boys, is paying for escorts. How much? How did you find out? I saw the text message under the new update on iPhone under edit and delete it. Hold on, you can check those? <laughs> what was it? 300 per hour. 300 per hour? Do they do by the minute? <laughs> it's like, I got 20, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I got five. Um, did you see the pictures? There's no pictures and he won't admit it. He's saying it's a scam. <laughs> it's a scam? That means he didn't come. It's a rip off. I could have stayed married if I wanted to not come. There's some married people in here. I fucking feel it. I am really sorry. That is the best genuinely fucked up. Are you guys done? Or are you, are you gonna stick with them? You're like, just don't fucking do this shit again. I already packed up all my shit and moved out. Fuck that dude. You a strong woman, you go out there, you live your own life, you have the most fun, you want to and, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll fuck you for 150, to be honest. Do I hear, do I hear 200? Do I hear 200? <laughs> what does it show up as? Like, what's like the receipt look like? <laughs> you know, he asked, what are your roses? And I googled that and found the website and the code roses means how much we're going to Bitch, what if he was buying you flowers? $300 worth of flowers. He might love you. No. Did he even try that excuse? No. Ah, that would've been my go-to. Do it for an hour, they, they pick them themselves. It's for, it's, for an hour, it's worth of work. You get as many roses as they can pick them in an hour. That's like a pretty solid deal. Nobody fucking steal that. Your best friend used it? <laughs> Miami sketch. I love you though, I drove three hours to come see you. <laughs> you drove three hours to see me? Oh my god, it's just $900. That's $900. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. God damn. I'm so sorry. That's crazy. Oh my god. That's a very good red flag. Thank you for being so uh, hurt. Thank you for letting us enjoy your pain. I, I, don't know if you, I, I wish you the absolute best, and he sounds like somebody I would have told you. But to manipulate him. Never mind. We're getting next. Men from Miami. Men from Miami. Yeah. Bitch, I think you're about to die alone. Cause they look where you at. That's correct. We're in Miami. I'm already talking to somebody. What is it that you don't like about men in Miami? They're all trash. They're all trash. You're not gonna find your husband in here. You're alienating everybody. Where do you usually date guys from? Anywhere else. Anywhere else? Yeah. Prison? <laughs> no, uh, your mom didn't yell out. You yelled out. I'm about to fuck your mom if we can end this conversation. This is really hot. What is it about Miami men that you find trash for? Okay. They're toxic. They're toxic. No, no, but what's an example of toxic? You can't say general things. They like their cars, but they like their women. Well, are, are their cars quieter? I don't think it's a fair generalization. You said toxic, and then well, what's toxic about? All you said was cars. Physically, they make you sick. Well, if you guys drank a little less. 
think you could make, I think Miami men go great with water. I mean, they swam through plenty of it to get here. Don't talk shit about Miami men. They fucking worked their ass off to get here. Every, every human man here is Michael Phelps. Everybody. Respect, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> See, you caused a fucking glitch in the Matrix right now. Talking shit about Miami Bad. <laughs> I thought my browser history was about to come up. Who's about to delete all that? Shows up where everybody go home. <laughs> Y'all coupled up hard as fuck. How long you guys been together? Six months? Oh, give it time. <laughs> that's, that's adorable. Where'd you guys meet? The club? <laughs> yeah, give it time. Who uh, yeah. cool approached to? You approached her? Yeah, you little creep. <laughs> what was she gonna do? Have a fun night out with her friends? Fuck out of here. <laughs> Did he have any kind of clever line when he approached you at the club? He had the clever line. <gasps> you had the clever line? Well, what, what was the line? What was you open with? Okay, this is surprising to me, maybe not anyone else in Florida. But she goes, she didn't want him to talk to her, like I said. And so she told him she was 17 and pregnant. He was like, bitch, I always wanted to be on MTV. All right, man, let's go a star now, all right? Oh my God. So not only were you underage in the club, you also told him you were as you took a drink of alcohol. That's the most Miami shit I've ever heard of in my fucking life. But I love that clearly he didn't care. He was like, I can help both y'all with your homework. How do you wait the Selfies with the tongue now. Selfies with the tongue. Oh, lead with your best feature, I guess. Or with a fish. Oh, okay. You're on data gas. Hey. That's the red flag. Don't be on data gas in the first place. It's hard out here. It is hard out here. Not for some of us. No, no. What is it doing, okay? What is it about it, though? Is it, is it just physically it's unattractive? Yeah. But you don't like when guys fish, either, you said. No. You don't like guys who provide for their family? Do you have your dating profile? Yeah. I do have a dating profile. What's your, what's your app? What do you go to? I've never met anyone on the dating app. You've never met anyone on the dating app? Well, that's sad. Right. Can I see your profile? <laughs> I gotta see this. Got all these standards. We're about to see. Matt, may I see your phone? Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got here. Okay, here we go. Photos. All right, first one is in front of the grass wall. <laughs> Literally the most fuckboy pose. <laughs> Might as well just be captioned, who's trying to pay my rent? <laughs> Next one's just a sexy kind of selfie, and this is actually a very good photo. Smash. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, the next one. This I don't like when a girl has. When it's, it's, it's three girls, all with their asses to the camera. You don't know whose profile it actually is. This is the, pro which, which one are you in this one? Middle, left, right? The left. The left? It's the least good ass. <laughs> I know, you had a problem with. Matter of fact, bitch, your tongue is out in this photo. Are you fucking kidding me? With the peace sign. Oh my God, take your phone, you little lesbo. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the hypocrisy. Wow. When was your last relationship? A year ago. A year ago? Who broke up with who? He broke up with me. 
he broke up with you. He was like, later, bitch. <laughs> Now it all makes sense. I'm sorry. He what? He's begging for you back? No, he's not. This is just like an odd question to the people in the back, but are you wearing pants? Not at all? You work next door? What's next door? 11? Are you really not wearing pants at all? Oh, it's uniform. Can I, can I stand up? Can you stand up? Damn! Okay. Hold on. Hold on. You have a tattoo on your butt. It's a seahorse? What's the significance of a seahorse on your butt? My eyes are up here. That would give me too. I don't think so. What's the, what's the significance of a seahorse on your butt? But seahorses, the male, the mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, that didn't make sense. She goes, well, first of all, I'm a mom. <laughs> As you can tell, I've been calmed in. <laughs> she said, I'm a mom. And in a seahorse community, I don't know how educated you are. But the male seahorse is actually who gives birth to the children. But that didn't happen. Yeah, she said, unfortunately, it was me. Okay, right, who's watching this gift right now? You got a babysitter? Is it with the father? All of the above. All of the above? What? Did you fuck the babysitter? <laughs> you You're pregnant too! Oh my god! Okay, are you um, are you a seahorse or a trans? No, you guys missed it, but she when she laughed, she did this and it clowns. And she literally went, oh, oh, this bitch almost hyped a football at me. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl yet? Boy. Boy and canceled. You can't gender it yet. Cancel this fuck. Are you still with the father? Is this him right here? No. Oh, you're. It's not you. Okay. I, I, I can see your outfit. You're not tucked. Trust me. And are you with your 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 kid's dad still? Yes. Yes. Question mark. How long were you with him? Two years. How old's your kid? Four. Four. Don't homeschool this kid. <laughs> were you seeing him for a little while, then you got back together? Is that what it is? No, we're not together. You're not together. So you lied to me. <laughs> red flag. <laughs> no, fuck a red flag. Uh, child Protective Services? <laughs> How old are you? Guess? You don't want to do that. <laughs> You're from Miami? And you have a four-year-old child? 16? Your name is Barbie? Go Barbie! Bitch, sit down before you miscarriage. What are you crazy? Turning around, jumping, fucking chest fucking people? Crazy? So irresponsible. It's been a little bit off the rails. We started with red flags, and now I'm trying to fuck two moms. Pretty usual. What's that? Pretty usual. What's pretty usual? Me getting off the rails? I feel like you hit some rails before you came here. <laughs> Are you here by yourself? Yeah. Really? This is my dad and my mom. That's your dad and your mom? Oh, for now. Okay, you, you guys aren't actually her parents? No, for tonight. No, don't, you can't just rent parents. <laughs> you can rent Yeah, I saw the documentary. <laughs> I said, you can't just rent parents. She said, it's Miami, you can rent anything. 
Yeah, I heard there's a whole island for that. <laughs> Are you gonna be fun or not, Miami? Are we gonna... If we can't do dark jokes, go see somebody else. <laughs> Joke about fucked up things, otherwise they're just negative. You know? <laughs> this is good. You guys came around. It takes a little bit of a push to get you guys bored, but it's fun. It's fun. Yes, it's... I might. <laughs> Shh. Sorry, Mom. Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fuck whoever said that. We need that shit. That's sexy. <laughs> I just love a girl who loves quiet. You guys coupled up? Uh, just friends? Yeah, I bet. Where'd you guys meet? Grad school. Grad school? Where'd you guys graduate from? Miami. What'd you study? Music business. And what are you doing in the music business? I'm an editor of a magazine. Oh, you're an editor of a magazine? Which magazine? Living. What is it? Hot living. Hot living. Did you, you call it something else first? What did you call it? Hold living. Hold living. Hold living. Yeah. Hold. That's gay, right? That's, that's the gayest way to say that word, isn't it? So hot right now. This is. I sound so like Eastern European. Mm, so hot right now. <laughs> when you guys came together, which one of y'all trying to fuck the other one? Be honest. <laughs> you guys couldn't see him, but he literally went like this. He went. <laughs> Stay strong, gang. I was sleeping in the same bed with him. Respect, you know what I mean? How, how you pull that off? That's kind of impressive. It's fucked up, but it's impressive. All right, what's the circumstance? I was passed out drunk at a party. You were passed out drunk at a party. That's kind of on you. Sam and my best friend. I mean, that's not a best friend. Right next to you. She and your best friend had sex in the same bed right next to you? She asked him why, and he said he was drunk and she had a nice ass. Does that work? Is that enough? How did you, how did you find out? She woke up with his penis beside her. I kind of don't want to repeat that. Um, so she, she said the next day, her friends told her that she woke up with her boyfriend's penis inside of her. Was he asleep? He said it took about three strokes and he was good. He said it took about three strokes and he was good? Dang, so the pussy was fired too? Alright, well we're not about to pump shame anybody, okay? It happens. To the best of us. Not me, but other people. I imagine you broke up with him immediately. Immediately, yeah. We were living together. I moved you were living together? Yeah. Fuck. And I weighed 220 pounds, and now I weigh 140 with a better ass. You weighed 220 pounds, and since the breakup, you've lost 80 pounds, and you have better ass than her? Can we see it? Oh my god. Okay, that's enough. I don't have any cash. Uh, <laughs> how much are your roses? <laughs> that's not a revenge body right there. That's fucking evil. Yeah, well, congratulations. I, I'm glad you're focusing on you and working on you. That's what How long ago was this, by the way? Four years ago? So 80 pounds is less impressive. I thought it was like three months ago. I was like, damn. But no, that could have just laid in the sun. What a dick man that can cheat in Miami. God damn. Sorry. 
Your ex had a threesome with your two best friends while you were there? Life's not so bad, is it? If you think your life is hard, somebody's got it way worse. He fucked our whole crew. Where did you meet this legend? Asshole. Where did you meet this asshole? In West Virginia? Oh my god. So you guys were at a family reunion and what happened? How long were you with him for? A couple months. Oh, that's barely your boyfriend. That's just a guy you and your friends were fucking. I'm not gonna lie, you guys have some pretty fucked up experiences. Usually these are a lot more lighthearted. Usually people are like, guys who live at home. But you know, y'all like, no, guys who fuck your whole family. Guys who fuck, guys who fuck everybody you know. <laughs> Miami dude's got a next level type of game. Y'all are fucked up, but kind of respect. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. Okay, does anyone have one that's not cheating related? <laughs> Wait, what? You have your hand raised like you went to school. What is it? Okay, titties, you don't have to stand up. You can just sit down. Jesus Christ. Alright, what's your red flag for a guy? A men's rights activist. A men's rights activist. Oh, bitch, you should not have said that. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, I gotta call my boy Andrew Tate. Hold on a second. <laughs> so you dated a guy before who was a men's activist. I went on a date, he went to Stephen Colbert. You went on a date, he went and saw Stephen Colbert. He was on Stephen Colbert. He was on Stephen Colbert. As a men's rights activist. As a men's rights activist. You fucked Jordan Peterson? <laughs> you fucked no one? I stopped at Tinder. You went on Tinder. But did you go on an in-person date with him? You did? Did he pay for dinner? He paid for drinks. He paid for drinks. Did you get dinner? No dinner. But he paid for the drinks? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> and did you not like him the night of the date? Okay, until we got to the men's rights activist work. He talked about men's rights during the date. Right. Hey guys, don't do that. That makes pussy so dry. First of all, just don't leave with that on date number one. Yeah, don't be on date number one. You'd be like, hey, you know who gets paid too much? Women. Like, don't open with that shit. That's not even... Being on the side of men's activists, aside, it's just like, don't even open with that. Have you ever fucked, ever? Okay, so that's, that's poor game on his end. Do you know that men die younger than women? Do I know that men die younger than women? I mean, if, I, if this conversation goes on any longer, I'm gonna kill myself. What did he say about men's rights that you didn't like? Okay, well, like I said, oh, again, no. women, you know, women live <laughs> longer than men. And like, and that's a problem. And I'm like, women live longer than men because men fuck men over. Like, this is not a, this is not a, what is this? I'm not an attorney, but it feels like you lost this case. <laughs> He's so, <laughs> sit down. Because the only the example that she gave was she said he told her, you know, women live longer than men. And she didn't like that statistic. Because women rely on a whole group of people. Men only rely on like their wives and they're just Tell me how he blamed women. You just said he listed a statistic. This is how life is better for women. Oh, he said that life is better for women and that's why they live longer? That's what he said? Because it sounds like I said it because you didn't say it. It's women's lives aren't so bad because women live longer. Gotcha. Okay, so all in all, she said, he said, women live longer than men because women have an easier life than men. This is going to be fun. This is going to ruin the show. God damn it. <laughs> men do work more dangerous jobs. That's the real thing. More men commit suicide. More men are in prison. Did you sit down right now? I swear to God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so that's the only thing that's going to 
Friends find him on Hinge. All right, now, you met him at a bar. You dated for six months. Your friend was on Hinge, and she saw his profile on there. Now, does she know that they just done a previous profile? Maybe he forgot to deactivate his account? He said he was active today. He said he's active today. Maybe he was going on there to be like, man, all these girls aren't as good as the one that I'm Did you just break, break up with him over that? No, there was, there was many other red flags. No, there were many other red flags? I knew there was a deeper issue. <laughs> what was the main factor in ending the relationship? Obviously, he did this one shady thing that you were unsure about, but that happens in relationships all the time. It's misunderstandings, and you're just like, I don't know the full truth, so I gotta just move past it. What was the final straw? Dishonesty. Dishonesty? About what? About being on him. So it was the final straw. Where's your dream scenario to meet a guy? If your life was a fairy tale, where would you like to meet a guy? At the improv? Look, I'd, I'd love to date you, but men just statistically don't live that long. I'm really trying to help my lessons, you know what I mean? You're not alone. Hold on a second. Yeah, Stephen Colbert? I want to do something from this side. Nobody, nobody from this side. Calls his mom more than you. Calls his mom more than, you. more than you. Well, yeah. It's his mom. He can't love his mom. Oh, stop touching this dude. Is this your boyfriend? Okay. <laughs> hey, man, I wouldn't scoot over. She's next to a dude who looks like he'll kill you. I let this Yeah, who are you here with? Yeah, I bet. <laughs> who's, the, who's this gentleman with you at the table? He's my driver. I'm her driver. Her driver? Who are you? <laughs> Is you Batman? <laughs> I'm your driver. I'm a smart girl. You're a smart girl? It sounds like you're an alcoholic. <laughs> a smart girl would go, I've had enough tonight. I can drive home safely now. But then you're like, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna not remember. <laughs> so you take care of me. What is happening? <laughs> Have you guys met before, or is this purely like just met for professionally in this evening? Uh, <laughs> on this episode of When Fucking Your Uber Driver Goes Wrong. Hey, is this dick five stars though? One time? That's too many! <laughs> Bitch, you better Uber pull out. Oh my god! So you call your booty call your driver. I'm loving this dynamic right now. This is the most Miami shit I could have possibly experienced. Like I'm Sit down, bitch, you drunk, you can't drive. Where you going? God. Oh, there's the friends, holy shit. Y'all have missed a story. Did you know your friend drives for fake taxi? He's my driver. He's your driver too? Dog, run! Dog, run! Oh no! Oh no! I hate this city. <laughs> Y'all are rambunctious, dog. This is the drunkest person. I'm not done. Sorry, sorry. Do you want me to talk? Do you want me to talk to you the whole show? Talk to her the whole show. Oh my 
Does anybody understand tequila? Does anybody? Where is your boyfriend? He's at home. He's at home, living his best life. He's at home right now, like. Is it just me or is it not annoying as fuck? Yeah, no. Huh? Huh? Got it. I hate Miami. You guys were fantastic. Um, all, all but one of you were so much fun. You have a good time, I hope. Yeah, I love you, though you're great. That was the least convincing thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Yeah, I love you, you're great. You were super sweet, too. Y'all city is fucking wild. I hope you. Ladies. I went to 11 twice. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is this place, dog? They're open till 10 a.m. Stop cheering. This isn't promo. You guys have a problem. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You guys are so toxic that I'm like, here's your city's problems, and y'all are like, Woo! You guys are so funny. What's that? Oh! You guys cheer, but I had to get my ass ate to get this. Levin's a different beast, dog. Oh my god. I love you. <laughs> what did you say? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Is that your boyfriend? So confusing. Usually, crowd work for a show. I imagine most of you came from fucking TikTok, so I imagine. Yes, it's, uh... So usually on TikTok, how you see crowd work goes, you're like, banter, 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 details, funny response, banter, banter. And you guys are like, nah, fuck all that. You want to talk to us? Psych. Open channel, Where's your voice? Overnight channel, overnight Oh, you watch the overnight channel? Yes! Oh, oh for ghosts and stuff? You believe in ghosts? <laughs> It's on the funny show, you know. What? I said the ghost show. Yeah. And then you went, see. And then I said, do you believe in ghosts? And then you went. No. 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 I've never hated a certain square footage. And it's sleep. I was thinking more like duct tape. Ma'am. Next, 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 to, next to those girls, yes, the one dressed like Hamburglar. I'm sorry, it was the first thing that came to mind. I'm so sorry. Can you please stand up so they don't think I'm an asshole? Like, it's so spot on. I love you so much. I was watching you the entire show, and like your reactions were half like laughing at me, and then with them, so it would be like, uh, it'd be like a combination of like. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for coming to the show, even though I didn't have to say Beetlejuice three times. That's... You are so sweet. <laughs> I'm actually I'm also a size nine and a half. If you have any shoes in the back of Foot Locker. I'm very sure. You gotta come to Kansas. Are you from Kansas? Yeah. Oh, that's why you're so wholesome. Yeah. Not a beach or a boat in sight. No, Tampa. Oh, Tampa. oh, she said Tampa? Oh, yeah, fuck Kansas. I was being so nice. I was like, oh, yeah, Kansas, totally. Now, fuck that state, dog. Even Mother Nature is like tornado every year. That's just fuck. Here's the thing um, we have to get out of here in a second because I've got a table at 11. I am kidding. Are you out of your fucking mind? You've never gone up to 11 a third time. That's great. What is it? Third time's a charm? Yeah, I'd like to not get chlamydia. It would be awesome. 
We'd love to get out here in a moment. But if anybody wants to like shake hands and take pictures after the show, we'd love we'd love to come say what's up. We'd love to meet you guys. We'll do it. Uh, I think we usually do it like here on stage. So what? Ah, uh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't me. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. That was kind of mean, but like, she was awful. <laughs> Look, can't wait to meet you guys. Um, very fun. Uh, we, what was that? Yeah, I'm not Chris Rock, bitch. This ain't the Oscars. I'm ready. Bro, Bro can I get that one handed? Am I Spider Man? <laughs> See, I don't even have to go to 11 to catch something. Isn't that crazy? Is this from you? That's so sweet. Thank you. So can, can I read it or is it before I do it on my own? Either way, it's fine. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, dear Mr. Bieber is scratched out. Right. Uh, firstly, my condolences for the loss of your grandpa. Thank you. Uh, your fans have felt his warmth through your jokes and the stories you will resonate. Very sweet. Um, secondly, happy anniversary of the release of OnlyFans. Th is it today? Yesterday. It was yesterday? My first special came out yesterday? I didn't even realize that. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Um, third, what that dick do. I wanted you to have something to connect you to your grandpa, memorialize your achievements, and show uh, show your hometown how far you've come. And the John Deere tractor is in the mail. <laughs> I'm from the middle of nowhere, Ohio, so I don't know if everybody knows that. Uh, the uh, the club uh, the club's dumpster didn't have the making for a Ouija board. <laughs> Great reference. Uh, I couldn't build you a bear, and security confiscated the pocket pussy. <laughs> What's wrong with yours? This won't live up to your uh, potato salad, but please enjoy. Good luck with your next special, and happy holidays. Warmly, Ginger. Oh, P.S. This bitch in front of me won't shut the fuck up. How would you know? Can I open it? What is it? If it's anthrax, this is not okay. Oh, it's taped on that fucking head. God damn. You have nails? Could you open this for me? Thank you. Damn, that shit's taped on it. What's in it? Wait, Ginger, Talk about something else. Yeah, talk about something else. What's up, Ginger? Go, Ginger! So sweet. Thank you so much, man. I don't know what it is yet, but thank you for at least the kind words. We really appreciate it. Uh, Oh, here we go, yeah? Let's see. Fuck, it tore the paper, I'm sorry. Oh, baby! Here we go, got it. The more you rip it, the... <laughs> it's a Lunchable? <laughs> Fuck this. Uh, uh, Ginger, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. Ginger, everybody. Miami, have a wonderful week. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Ginger, I love you. Thank you so much. That's the red flag. I'm just trying to come up in this game. Fortune and fame, a legacy attached to my name. Anything slowing up my bank.
Keep it going for Matt Ryan!